Today is World Water Day under the theme of water and climate change. We all know that water is one of the most precious resources in nature. However, climate change is projected to change the availability, distribution, and quality of water and have an impact on our health and food security. While biodiversity needs water, biodiversity is also critical to the maintenance of both the quality and quantity of water supplies and plays a vital but often under-acknowledged role in water cycle. Many different ecosystems, such as forests, grasslands, soils, and wetlands, and all influence water. Vegetated land cover regulates water movement across the land and water infiltration into the soils. Wetland can store water and regulate floods. Biodiversity supports water and nutrient cycling in soils. Together, these processes control land erosion and regulate water quality. They constitute cost-effective nature-based solutions that can work in parallel with or possibly replace man-made instructions such as reservoir, water treatment plants, infiltration systems, and flood management embankments. Biodiversity and ecosystem services are crucial part of our efforts to adapt to and mitigate climate change while achieving the sustainable development goals. Pitlands cover only 3% of the world's land surface, but store twice as much of carbon as all of Earth's forests. Mangrove soils, hold about 6 billion tons of carbon. Conserving these and other natural, terrestrial, and fresh water ecosystems while restoring degraded ecosystems is key for climate change mitigation and adaptation. Therefore, ecosystems protection and restoration are good strategies for increasing the provision of ecosystem services and reserving biodiversity loss and increase human and ecosystems resilience to the impact of climate change. Working with nature rather than against it brings multiple benefits. In this super year for biodiversity, while governments are working to develop and negotiate a new global biodiversity framework, let us all take personal responsibility and take positive actions. For example, take five minutes of shower and help preserve this precious resource. Alternatively, eat more plant-based and locally sourced meals and help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Let us reduce our food waste. Presently, approximately one third of all food produced worldwide is lost and goes to waste. On this World Water Day, let us take steps as communities and as individuals to conserve and sustainably use biodiversity. If we do this, we help increase climate resilience, improve ecosystems health, and reduce the risk of water-related disasters.